It's no secret that connecting different networks can sometimes be a mess. But with Google Cloud's VPC compatibility features, it's a breeze. These features let you bridge the gap between your on-premises, multi-cloud, and Google Cloud environments. So like physical networks, VPCs have routing tables. Routing tables are built in, which is a dream because you don't have to provision or manage a router. And what these routing tables do is forward traffic from one instance to another within the same network, across subnetworks, or even between Google Cloud zones, without requiring an external IP address. Another thing you don't have to provision or manage, you may be noticing a trend here, is a firewall. VPCs provide a global distributed firewall, which can be controlled to restrict access to instances through both incoming and outgoing traffic. Firewall rules can be defined through network tags on compute engine instances, which is super convenient. For example, you can tag all your web servers with, say, web, and write a firewall rule saying that traffic on ports 80 or 443 is allowed into all VMs with the web tag, no matter what their IP address happens to be. VPCs belong to Google Cloud projects, but what if your company has several Google Cloud projects and the VPCs need to talk to each other? With VPC peering, a relationship between two VPCs can be established to exchange traffic. Alternatively, to use the full power of identity access management, IAM, to control who and what in one project can interact with a VPC in another, you can configure a shared VPC. So now that you know what VPCs are capable of, which is a lot, it's time to learn about Compute Engine. And we'll discuss that in the next video. See you there.